Thanks for clicking into GazPrepSports.com. We're doing a little video preview here, looking at the top five football games coming up this weekend. I am Slim Kimmel giving you that quick rundown. We'll start in the AA, where the biggest game on the schedule is probably Butte at Helena Capital. The Bulldogs, the defending state champions, came out last weekend. Home game, beat Billing Senior 26 to 20. Dallas Cook, not his typical outstanding self. He completed less than 50% of his passes. I believe he only threw one touchdown. So look for him to have a bounce back game against those Bruins. Those Bruins have seven returning starters on defense, uh, 16 starters returning overall, uh, the most under coach Pat Murphy. So the Bruins uh, looking to build off of a strong class coming back. They always play great defense. They won 65 to zero against Missoula Hellgate last weekend. So look for a great matchup there, Capital hosting Butte. Tough place to win in Helena, but uh, that should be the top double-A game of the week. There are some other good ones out there. I like that Glacier CMR game to see uh, if Glacier is for real after that 43-7 to win over Billings West last weekend. And then to see how Great Falls CMR bounces back after losing to Missoula Sentinel. And the Spartans, by the way, play Bozeman this weekend. So we'll kind of get a barometer there as to how good the Spartans actually are. If that last week was a fluke, We'll, we'll learn a little bit about them as I think Bozeman is one of the best teams in AA. Moving to Class A, the best matchup here is probably Dillon at Polson. Uh, according to the Missoulian, those two teams were the preseason favorites to the coaches in both of their conferences. Dillon, perennial power. They are working in a new coach. I believe Rick Nordahl, the longtime offensive coordinator, is coming in after Terry Thomas stepped down last winter. Uh, the Beavers, though, always a great program. Polson has been one of those good programs in the last few years, but they haven't been able to get over that hump in the playoffs, so we'll kind of get to see how the Northwestern A and the Southwestern A shake out there. So look for that game in, in Class A. I also do like the Billing Central Belgrade game. We're going to see how good those Rams are this year after graduating a huge senior class. They're pretty young this year. Belgrade got a big win against Butte Central in Week 1, so Belgrade kind of looks like they might be the best team in the Central A right now. But we'll see this weekend how things shake out against the Rams. Moving on to Class B, two great games in Class B. I'm really excited for the Missoula Loyola at Fairfield game. I can't be there, but Loyola and Fairfield, for that matter, both working in new starting quarterbacks this year. The Rams, defending state champs, Fairfield champs two years ago. So we'll get kind of a barometer there in Class B, how the West shakes out versus the North. But the game I'm going to, Red Lodge is hosting Forsyth. These two teams are on the up, upward trend. Um, after both made the playoffs last year, Red Lodge has made it the last two years. Forsyth made the playoffs for the first time since 1992 under coach Chris Hess in his first year of the program. He's there for his second year. Both teams this year working in new quarterbacks like Loyola and Fairfield. So we'll see kind of what happens there. Offenses are probably changing a little bit, maybe going more run-oriented. I've heard some good, good things about Casey Cole, the freshman quarterback who's expected to take over for Blake Schwagler and Forsyth. So look for that matchup. I will be out there Friday night. And I'll come back with video highlights, probably some commentary there too. So look out for that Red Lodge Forsyth game. An eight man. The question on everybody's mind is how good is Fairview actually going to be this year? A lot of people think they're going to be better than a lot of people think. A lot of people think they're going to struggle after graduating, I think, 13 seniors, including Brock Schreiber, Cody Vitt, Jace Taylor, and crew. Um, a guy to look out for them, Justin Bieber is back, the wide receiver tight end type, and then Monty Psycho taking over at quarterback. He got a lot of snaps and a lot of blowout games. So look for those two guys in that game against Freud Lake this weekend. Freud Lake got a big win last weekend. Jalen Hen Hendrickson, the do-it-all quarterback, great player, one of the best players in eastern Montana, maybe one of the best players in all of eight, man. Freud Lake got a big win last weekend. If they can string together two, two wins to start the season here, they could be a team that could sneak into the playoffs there as, as one of those seeds in the east. But Fairview, we'll see just how good they are before they head into a big matchup with Weibo in the coming weeks. And then six, man, you don't get much better than Hot Springs and Geraldine Highwood. Hot Springs, the defending state champions. Geraldine Highwood, I believe, made it to the semis last year. Two really good programs, two really good teams. A lot of returning talent back. I believe uh, Hot Springs has three All-Staters coming back. I know Geraldine had, Highwood has a couple coming back too. Wyatt McKinley is one of those guys. Wyatt McKinley, dangerous, dangerous player. He can do it all for the rivals. So those are kind of five games to watch out for this weekend. We'll give you another recap Saturday night.